Hello everybody, this is Berg back coming to you with another StarCraft 2 commentary. Today's matchup, we will have Liquid Tyler, I'll just be calling him Tyler on here, spawning as the red Protoss on the upper right hand side of the map, and his opponent will be Phone Wang, but he is known as Sen, and uh, he is starring here as the green Zerg in the bottom left hand corner. So I will be calling him Sen from here on out. You'll see his name as Fuen Wang. I don't think you want me to say Wang too much, so we'll just stop there. Okay, guys. <laughs> and uh, and I am back, and I am casting, and I'm going to try to do this. This is a best of uh, three, I believe. I will try and cast all the games as we go on, and uh, we'll see how far we get in this best of three if we do get to the, to the three games. I have not seen this game at all. I did see on SC2Rep.com that this was a highly watched game, so I do want to try and uh, get through this whole thing and, and for everybody out there just to see what it looks like. Again, pretty standard. This is Zelnaga Caverns starting at diagonal from each other. We do have Sen going across the map with his overlord starting to, to scout out his opponent. Going to send out another one, looks like, to his expansion. Going to get some nice vision there uh, for him. And uh, we'll just keep going on and on and on with the overlords. Of course, overlords are very important on this map for a Zerg player just to get that visual, just to see what's going on, seeing if anything, you know, sending this guy out just to see if anything's at this expansion, which just early on against a Protoss player you wouldn't really be seeing. But again, it's really good for a Protoss player, or a Zerg player rather, just to get that vision out there and uh, see what's going on on the map and uh, get as much as much uh, vision as possible and you'll probably see you know we'll go back there and see that placement and, and see what's going on we do have that spawning pool coming down for Sen in the background just getting it out of the way and of course Tyler just going around looking and seeing what's going on we see his vision does see that spawning pool he did get a nice little roundabout going in here just to see what's going on oh started to attack that that poor little drone before he started creating that extractor and getting surrounded by the the drones oh that poor little probe and we do see that another drone just come back up now and uh, after he did get some vision off of that himself as it looks like uh, Sen now starting to get up here with the Overlord getting a nice little free uh, pass just to see what's going on building a wall with uh, his Cybernetics core and we're just gonna have this small uh, tiny area for his units to get through and we do see Tyler of course using that Zell to block off and of course Sen being able to see that we look at the income tab, we're pretty uh, pretty heavy on the minerals for and the gas as we see he's ahead in harvester count uh, for Tyler going ahead of Sen there. So we do see a little bit of an advantage going to, uh, to Tyler, but of course Sen will be getting out ahead uh, in just a little bit. We do see that uh, queen coming out of that hatchery, so we'll have two queens uh, now coming out, one coming for this one as well, just a little late there on the queens. and. Uh, we do have the metabolic boost coming out for Sen as well. And it looks like Sen just sending up that Overlord just to get him out of the way. Knows eventually, yeah, that Stalker now coming out is going to be a little bit of a nuisance. And uh, Zella getting a nice little kill there. I didn't look at that earlier. Must have just came down here and had a little bit of fun uh, down in this expansion. I'm sure everybody watching is going to say, no, Birdback, no. Uh, you were wrong. Watch that replay again. Of course, I'm watching this cold right now, so I haven't had a chance to uh, to see who the winner is. Going for that that blink, really great for the stalkers. So it does show you that it looks like Tyler will be going for a blink stalker mode. And uh, as you see, he is building stalkers up and just building them up and starting to try and stop this overlord from going in so he puts that stalker in there and zerglings just coming in here trying to to do some kind of frontal attack of course seeing that wall off not going to be able to do a whole lot he's just trying to get some vision of what's at this wall not able to really do a whole lot and going for that roach war now sin and uh, gonna try and counter what he can by seeing what's at the front of the gate of course he has no vision but he does see that stalker and uh, the stalkers in the beginning there and saw that zealot Bringing in more Stalkers now, and uh, again, Blink Stalkers going to be developed, almost ready for that. 
bringing down this probe. Not exactly sure why. I think he's getting ready to push out. And as soon as he pushes out, yeah, here we go. We're going to start seeing that probe come out. You'll probably see Tyler expand and uh, protect this expansion here as, uh, as he moves on. So yeah, bringing down the pylon, walling off, a really good move. Not going for that expansion yet, I'm kind of surprised. And uh, taking out these Zerglings, trying to get all of his uh, corners as possible. But oh, oh, look at this. Tyler bringing down his probe, and he's probably going to be laying down a... Oh, it looks like he's... Yeah, there we go. Bringing down the pylon right there. He's going to have a nice little area here to be able to spawn in more of these nice stalkers as he starts running up, blinking them down, starting to attack, getting as many Zerglings as he possibly can. And we'll probably see these Zerglings, oh no, stalkers, I thought he was going to see these stalkers blink back up, but it looks like he's going to go for the long way. Oh no, bringing them back and get it, yep, there we go. Blinging them in and uh, getting those stalkers up. Spinecrawler's getting placed down in the front line here of this expansion. And uh, bringing the Roaches in, a really nice heavy counter for these Stalkers. Uh, stalkers, of course, blinking out of there and starting to uh, micro back those those units. And now starting to take out that Pylon. Pylon definitely getting hit, but he is going to get a few more Stalkers in here before that Pylon goes down. One little Roach going for that Pylon all by himself. We'll probably see that Pylon go down. And Roaches is coming in, taking a nice beating. Uh, against these stalkers. Stalkers now blinking in, bringing in the, the heavier load, but these spine crawlers now coming in and starting to attack. Tyler we're using that nice blink micro uh, to get stalkers out, and this pylon still alive, bringing in more stalkers into the mix as uh, we see that queen down the 4 HP going down very fast there, and Sen going for the GG, not able to hold off the blink stalkers. So really good play there. Uh, I have to say, I, as a Protoss player, tend to go with this Blink-Stalker combo, especially against Zerg. It, it can be beneficial, especially on the early game. And uh, we did see Tyler do a really good job there uh, early on, being able to really apply the pressure, the, the Roach is not being able to hold off Tyler uh, in time. And... Uh, Really good job there, Tyler. So we'll go on to game number two between Tyler and Sen, and uh, we'll see you guys there. Take care.